Hey. Is this not why you were here? Hey guys, Joe Walsenbrook here with Mindset Over Everything. I want to say thank you to each and every single one of you that tune into the podcast regularly. If you're brand new to the podcast, a couple things, right? Whether or not you're new to the podcast, I need you to leave a rating and review, please. That's the lifeblood of a podcaster. That's how they use the algorithms and all the fancy little numbers and mathematical formulas to push us out to more people. Second, right? Make sure you're subscribed. Just because you're tuning in now, that's great. But if you like it, you love it, you want to hear some more, you got to subscribe. Subscribing gives you notifications, lets you know when we got new stuff coming out. Make sure you subscribe, leave a rating and review. Today's episode, I get real, I get personal. Look, February used to be a really dark month for me, and it's still not my favorite at all. But I will say this, February is getting a lot easier. And that's changed with my mindset. Um, I, this is from a video I did on Facebook today. I talk about uh, a little bit of the, about the time, um, you know, when I lost my father and, and what impact that had in my life. Um, I'm not going to give up much more of it. Thank you for tuning in. And here's the episode. And just like the title of this video says, well, this isn't even really that easy to talk about, but uh, it's a whole hell of a lot easier than it used to be. Um, so I was having a conversation this morning or this afternoon, actually, with a friend of mine. Uh, he's moving back from L.A. His name's Pat Hagen, really good friend of mine. And um, we were talking about the old Joe. Right. And if you're new to this, you're new to following me, which is about three thousand of you all who are brand new to following me. Uh, welcome for one. Check out Mindset Over Everything, the podcast. I'm going to be getting really real and really vulnerable with you on this one today. So. We talked about the old Joe, right? The Joe from about six or seven years ago. Um, the Joe who used to have one of the biggest victim mindsets you've ever seen. And um, I was my own worst enemy. I looked at all the outside factors in the life and I would, I would that's it's their fault. It's that person's fault. It's that fault because I couldn't get to where I wanted to be, right? I got fired from this job because it's their fault. It wasn't my fault, right? Um, you know, this person's out to get me. That person's out to get me. I was the biggest crying victim you've ever seen. And uh, like I said, this was about six or seven years ago. And I started talking to Pat about when all that changed. I said, Pat, man, you remember when we used to live on the south side, this apartment on the south side of St. Pete? And, and uh, you know, literally, I was just crying and whining. Like, I got caught up in uh, the, the mindset of, like, everyone was out to get me, including the IRS. Uh, remember when the IRS held everybody's returns, like, way back about six, seven years ago? Um, nobody got their returns, and I was dependent on the returns at the time. I was, you know, planning on it. I, I needed that money to, because that money was going to get me forward and where I needed to go. And and uh, then I got held up, and then, so it didn't come in February or March. And then July, I'm still calling every day, and I'm crying and whining to anybody that had listened. And um, and and what changed, right? What changed Joe then to Joe now, right? What took place that got me out of that victim mindset that I wasn't good enough, right? I wasn't there. I wasn't ready. And nothing works out for me. The old poor pity party me, right? What changed from that? Well, I'll tell you exactly what changed from that. Seven years ago, this month, I lost my father to cancer. And... Um, I know we've all been there before, right? Or not all of us lost our father to cancer, but literally we've all lost a loved one either to cancer or, you know, some disease, a car wreck, something, right? We've all been there. We've, and what we call that, we call that a mortality lesson. Uh, we call that a mortality lesson in life. We've all had that. And if you haven't had that yet, that's what it took to get me out of that mindset. More so than just losing my father to cancer, um, I was there. I had to make the decision to DNR, do not resuscitate. I had to, uh, I was there. I was, I saw my father take his last breath. And, um, you know, the, the hardest part is the realization that he was there to see me take my first. 
And I'll tell you what my dad didn't want, right? My dad didn't want me wallowing in self-pity, right? My, my dad didn't want me stopping my life because his ended. And, um, and that was the mortality lesson in life. That was the mortality lesson that I learned. And it took me a solid five years to get that lesson implemented in my life. And it shouldn't take you a mortality lesson in your life to learn to get your shit together. It did me. That's when the Peter Pan syndrome I was in uh, ended, right? That's when that I I really started propelling myself forward. I met Melinda, my better half, uh, my best half, best part of my life. Um, her two beautiful, gorgeous kids. Those are my kids, right? Uh, you'll see me at soccer games. You're, I'm not. I'm that active dad. I'm. I'm right there. You know, my little girl's 11. She's got me wrapped around her pinky. Uh, my son Talon, he's 12. Um, he just got a hundred on a district uh, science test. The teacher emailed us said that was a very hard test, and you know, couldn't be more proud of him. And I think about those moments. February used to be a really hard month for me. February, I, I would get into that self pity, that self waller again because you know, again, I lost my dad, right? And and when February would roll around, it, it was like it gave me that excuse again. It was like it gave me that that time to to really kind of feel sorry for myself. And as I've been in the li in, in life, right, with with since then, and since that mortality lesson with Melinda, with the kids, and getting my shit together, every year. February got a little easier. We've all got a February in our lives, right? We all got a time in our life that when it comes upon that anniversary of that time and that event, it, it's hard again. We start thinking about it again. But what a difference a year can make. And I want to tell you this with the hopefully the realization to let you know, if nothing else, it gets better if you let it. And um, it gets better if you do something with it. It gets better if you use that for what it is. It's a lesson. Look, we're all going to die. My dad, when he got diagnosed with cancer, he said one of the most profoundly simplistic things, just only like my dad could, right? This is only something my dad at the moment in my life could have said. And, then, and when he said it, you know, he'd have been told that he was only going to have about a year. Uh, the bone marrow cancer, it had set in and it was only gonna, there was really nothing they could do. And as we would talk about it in the months to come, you know, my dad said, well, I mean, we're all going to die, right? We, we've all got a limited time on this earth. Mine's just going to be a little shorter. We don't know when that time card in our life is going to be punched, but we know what we have right now. What are we doing with it? Are you pursuing the fulfillment of your true potential? Are you living your life or is life living you? My point is the February in your life will get easier if you let it. You got to learn the mortality lesson. You got to push and propel yourself forward. Don't waller in self-pity. Because to be honest with you, the world doesn't care. You got to pick yourself up. You got to push forward. That's why I do Mindset Over Everything. The information contained in this podcast is information I wish I would have had five, six, seven years ago when I needed it. But I had to live, right? I had to live it. I had to learn it. You do too. You're not going to listen to this podcast and just have a better life. But if I can shorten your learning curve, even if just by a little bit, that's the impact I want to have with mindset over everything. When I look at the camera here, right, when I look into you and when I'm talking to this microphone right here that you can't see, the big fuzzy mic I got on my phone, and I say, I love you and I want you to succeed, I mean that. I love you and I want you to succeed. But nobody is going to bleed for you more than you're going to bleed for yourself. You got to pick up your feet. You got to put it forward. You got to take action. February gets easier if you let it. Don't waller in self-pity. I don't know how else to say it.
Like Eric Thomas says, winners just win and losers, they just lose. It doesn't, can't be put any simpler than that. That's just the way it is. Which one are you? I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon.